Okay, uh, Jonathan here. So showing you how to use um, or structure a funnel uh, so that you know you can extract as much lifetime value and average order value from the customer when they buy the first time, right? So if you think about it, uh, a funnel is basically uh, a series of steps that a customer goes through before they, they actually buy and finish the purchase, okay? So this app is called Reconvert. We use it on Shopify stores. It's very, very easy to use. And in the past, um, like the upsell sequence was very, very clunky and not very good at all for Shopify side. That's why a lot of people uh, use ClickFunnels for their funnel software and stuff like that. To be fair, Shopify is very difficult to customize as well. So uh, it still doesn't have that sort of customization where every single landing page you still can optimize to the max, but it's still a good solution nonetheless. Okay, so for example, this upsell sequence right here is a very, very simple. Uh, if someone buys an order, for example, right? The, the trigger is basically the order is completed, right? So you're going to upsell one thing. So imagine this offer right here. So you're going to have an upsell number one. Okay. And so you can see if the person buys this, it takes you up on this, this offer, for example, you can go to upsell number two. Okay. And this is the maximum that they offer. So you only can do up to two upsells, right? Uh, after they have bought the second upsell, for example, then they go to the thank you page, right? So this means that the order has completed already. Okay. If the person buys, for example, and then they go to offer number one, what you can do here, you can see you can offer a downsell. So a downsell is basically when a person buys and they reject your offer. So they reject your first upsell, then you can offer them something else. So for example, if they don't want to go and buy more stuff, you can buy and offer them a, a more a less expensive thing, right? You can also uh, push them to the thank you page immediately, as you can see here. You can see this one as well. Uh, if the person buys the first thing, they buy the first upsell and they don't buy the second upsell. So they decline the upsell, right? Then it goes to the thank you page as well. Okay. Yep. So you, it's, it's very, very easy now within Shopify per se uh, because of this update, right? And you can check out reconvert down below as well. Yeah, but basically this is a very standard upsell structure, right? It's like, yeah, the guy buys one thing, you offer them one thing and then you offer them upsell number two and then afterwards it's a thank you page and it's finished. Okay, so this is a structure, uh, general structure of how you would generally do it and I uh, hope this helps, right? This can really increase your average order value uh, over time as well. So that'll be really useful for you and yeah, this is basically, this is for the post purchase sequence and stuff. You don't have to, um, how do I say this, complicate the issue because most of the time uh, when people buy one thing, they generally like that thing already. So s most of the time you upsell number one, right? You're probably going to uh, sell the same thing to the same customer. Generally the take up rate for that is the highest. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And yep, um, that's pretty much it. Yep.